Our egos won't let us submit to guidance. They figure I'm intelligent, I can, especially if I can read. What I need somebody to tell me what to do, I can read up on it. That's why the world now is such a chaotic situation. Everybody's thinking the same thing. That means we are under the hegemony of shaitan. That means we're listening to shaitan. We're not listening to Allah Almighty. We're not listening to guidance anymore. But Allah always has to get our attention. And he gets it through his servants. When his servants get fed up, they say, oh my Lord, these disobedient people are never going to listen. Please bring your wrath. Allah never refuses them. They are never refused by Allah Almighty because that's why Allah Almighty sends human beings to human beings. When their patience, when their tolerance becomes so fed up, they cannot even take it another second. They say, oh my Lord, I can't take another second. Then that's when the wrath comes. It came during the time of Noah. And Noah... He took it for nine hundred years. Jonah didn't take it that long. Jonah left. He got fed up. He said, you know what? <laughs> I can't deal with y'all. He left. Allah chastised him by putting him in the well. He was there for a while. And Allah says, how can I, <laughs> how can I punish the people that their prophet left them? Solomon Gomorrah. They pleaded for the people. Prophet Lot pleaded, pleaded for the people. The people were no good people there. No one. If there's nothing, no one to be Allah's representative, Allah Almighty's intentions to establish the kingdom of heaven on earth. It shall be on earth as it is in heaven. That has not changed. We cannot change that. We cannot change that. We cannot change that. Thinking we may will that through our disobedience and say, no, I'm not going to accept it. No, don't know sunshine. I don't, the fact that we don't accept the fact that the sun shines in the sky, whether we stay in a home or in a cave, does that mean that the sun is not shining? Our denial of that does not change the fact that it brings the daytime. And when it sets, it brings the nighttime. What are we thinking? We don't think. We don't think like reflections or servants of our Lord. We don't think like the prophets think. They don't stop thinking. Their thinking is beyond themselves. They think like they know who they are. Representatives of their Lord on earth. Angels had to bow down to them. The gen all creation had to bow down to them. And so they were controlling everything that was moving. They had the authority to change everything. Of course, they had to have patience with people. They knew the people were rebellious and resistant. And they knew that they were competing with Shaitan. But when the people stop growing, stop glowing and stop flowing and started to kill the prophets and started to persecute them, Allah Almighty listened to the prophets' prayers and that's when the wrath came. As long as there were people that were listening, not only listening but obeying the message, Allah Almighty was bringing more and more prosperity, more and more enlightenment, more and more happiness, more and more glory, more and more love. As soon as they stopped and started thinking themselves as the ones who was bringing that based on their intellect, and they turned away from their Lord and stopped listening to those whom Allah Almighty was sending to them, that's when the wrath came. And we don't see and we don't realize that the wrath is on us now. 
You think that what's happening in Haiti can't happen here tonight or tomorrow? We must ask our Lord to forgive our disobedience and change our behavior. To stop doing those things against our mind and our body and our souls. Clear disobedience. We know what we do. When we're out in an adultery situation or fornicating or getting high or stealing or lying or, or, or doing whatever, we know we do that. Allah is looking at us through us. So, <laughs> there's no, if you know, he knows. And he allows us a period for repentance. Let me tell you, that is the greatest blessing that we could have been given. That door of repentance, all of them had it during the time of Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, all in the time of David, all in Jacob, uh, all of them, they had that door of repentance for them. Adam and Eve had that door of repentance. Adam and Eve fell, Satan fell. Adam and Eve repented, Satan is still the devil. He never repented. He never repented. The law even says to him today, if you repent and bow down to Adam, I'll give you your station back plus more. And yet he is still so angry because he is not the representative of Allah Almighty in the earth and in the heavens. He is crazy, man. And he's looking to seduce us into his madness because misery loves company. And he's looking for us from left to right. Yeah, he's bringing everything. He's bringing... Those, uh, that glitter of this world, he's bringing those temptations every dog on second, whispering in our mind, yeah, you know, don't listen to him, he's crazy. No, go on and do that, you deserve some little fun. Go on and steal that, go on and kill that person, they don't deserve to live, be deceptive. Don't be what you're created to be, be something else. It's your world. It's your body. You can do what you want to do with it. All right? Well, try to keep your body here when Allah Almighty calls it soul back. That will get my attention. Has anybody left their soul in it? Has anybody died? Hey, wait a minute. What? Did they want to leave? No, they didn't want to leave. They was at a party in the Now, they was on the deathbed. It was crying. No, I don't want to die. I mean, they ain't had no power to stop themselves from dying. Well, we ain't got that kind of power. Then. Whew, we ever got that kind of power. That's who I'm going to be friends with. To me, that sounds like that might be a wise thing to do. Somebody got that kind of power. Call your butt, out of, call your butt into this life and call you out of this life. That's who I want to be with. That's who I want to follow. That's who I want to listen to. Anybody he's sending to remind me of that? Show me how I may do that? Hey, thank you, Lord. Alhamdulillah. Hallelujah. Whatever. Takbir. Allah Akbar. Takbir. Allah Akbar. Takbir. Allah Akbar. Whatever they say of glorification to that one who brings us here and takes us out of here. That's wisdom. That's the power. That's the glory. Then Allah Almighty sends you among people to bring them to that station. That becomes your work on this life, and you continue after this to continue. You think this is the only life? You think this is the begin? This is the beginning of my life and the end of my life? No. Why would prophets come to us and say, "Wait a minute, now when you leave here, now there's something else after this"? Let me just tell you, now this ain't all of it. You jump straight, straight up and down to the party. This ain't the last party, but this ain't the right party. To remind us, let's not get it twisted. This ain't the end all be all. You were somewhere before you came here. Law brought us here, and you only do this one time. You get one shot at this to get it right. And the law sends us all the guidance we need to get it right. Because once we leave here, a lot don't want to hear us begging to come back here. We didn't get it. 